this video we're going to talk about deep learning which are also known as neural nets they are basically a computer program that learns with the data so you give input and you give observation and it tries to learn the program is written in such a fashion that it tries to mimic neurons in brains so in human or in any other living being there uh, there are neurons in the brains and this is a program which is loosely based on that concept artificial neural networks which are ann are also an answer to make machine reason more and more like humans now typically ann's have dozens to a million artificial neurons neurons which are arranged in series so i'm going to talk about this in a few minutes and then ann which is artificial neural networks use different layers of mathematical processing so let's take a typical let, let's take a look at typical uh, neural network so so this is the input layer this is the hidden layer and this is the output and these connections are known as weights input hidden layer and then output and these are known as weights i'm going to talk to you more in detail so what we do is in this section we're going to look at logical and function so we are going to derive logical and function using a sigmoid activation function if you remember mathematics the sigmoid activation function is this equation wherein very simply when you have the curve over in this on the left hand side anything less than 0.5 is considered as zero so zero or negative in the on the x-axis and then anything more than 0.5 or positive is 1 I repeat on the x-axis anything less than 0 or negative is considered 0 and anything more than 0 0.5 and 0 and positive is is considered as 1 so for binary classification of a sigmoid function this is how a sigmoid function looks like now let's look at this one you have x1 and x2 as inputs which are binary and for an AND function both the inputs have to be 1 so that the output is 1 any one of the input function is 0 input parameters is 0 then the output would be 0 let's create a neural net mathematically so you have x1 and x2 as inputs and h of x is the output we both we know both the inputs and the output and then we connect it now there has this these are the weights in order to for the machine to learn the observations and the observations and the input it needs to create an arbitrary constant x of 0 is always 1 remember x of 0 is always 1 this weight is put in to offset any values of the weights of inputs i'm going to tell you in detail now assuming arbitrary weights weight 0 x0 of weight 0 is negative weight 1 is 10 and weight 2 is 10 these are some weights and for now don't get into those questions wherein how did i consider the weights and stuffs like that for now just imagine or just assume that the weights are defined now let's see the function h of x is this sigmoid function which is g weight 0 multiplied by x0 weight 1 multiplied by x1 and weight 2 multiplied by x2 so the sigmoid function of the weight multiplied by this so x of 0 is always 1 x of 1 is uh, multiplied by w1 and x2 multiplied by w2 so these are the weights now let's do an AND activation function mathematically. Now, h of x is equal to, as I said, x0 is always 0, sorry, 1. It's going to be minus 15 plus 10 into x1 plus 10 into x2. So for the first one, 0 and 0, 
we substitute here x equal to 0 x1 equal to 0 and x2 also equal to 0 so g of minus 15 remember minus 15 so minus 15 on this sigmoid graph will be somewhere here that means h of 0 of 0 is 0 next is 0 and 1 so we substitute here 1 instead of x2 g of minus 5 again because it's a negative x number h that means this axis will always be 0 1 of 0 again g of minus 5 and then when h is 1 and 1 g is 5 because of this calculation negative 15 plus 10 plus 10 is plus 5 plus 5 is here it's 1 so it's very very simple mathematical calculation and therefore you see sigmoid this is the function it writes g of negative 15 g of minus 5 g of minus 5 and g of positive 5 this is how a very simple mathematical neural this is the most simplest you can think of or xor and other logical functions but this is this is how a neural net is written now let's get into python and we have been doing google colab so we're going to look at google colab and run our first neural network okay look at my previous videos uh, to understand google colab now we will import tensorflow numpy and keras from tensorflow make sure that your runtime is gpu over here so i'm going to run this one now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to have two different arrays x fam means number of families in hundreds so 1 2 3 to 8 is number of families and y expenses so expenses related to family in thousands of dollars so for one family ten thousand dollars two family fifteen three twenty so on and so forth if you look at it for nine families it should be fifty thousand dollars five zero the number should be fifty remember again number of families one to eight and these are the expenses of those families i'll just run this nothing is going to happen x of fam and y of expenses are defined now this is the model so in order to create a neural net model and this is very simple neural net model so you would do tensorflow dot keras dot sequential so it's going to be a sequential layering model i'm going to show you in a few minutes and this is the syntax keras dot layers dot dense units is one that means one single neuron it's one neuron network and input shape is one dimensional so input is x which is going to be one dimensional so this is the model initiation i ran this now you have to compile the model and this is the syntax please model dot compile optimizer there are multiple types of optimizers adam or stochastic gradient descent for all of these you have to read on the internet what is stochastic gradient descent and loss mean squared error i'm going to run this and then it, sh it will show me the summary of how this model is going to look like please note that i have not even put in x or y in the model yet i'm just initializing the model so model dot summary tells me that it's going to be only one single layer model you can see one neuron model very very simple model so step number 15 and this step number 16 are just defining or initiating a neural net model now i'm going to use the x and the y and then epochs is number of iterations so using x fam and y expenses i'm run gonna run it through the neural net just one neuron which is this model with 100 epochs and then i'm gonna predict for nine families how much it should be i know that the number should be 50. let's run it as in when you're running the model you would see that 
it will be very fast obviously you're running out on gpus but this is very small data anyways for 100 epoch the loss is in 1.27 not too bad let's see what the model predicts for nine families it says 51.4 hmm. the model is not that great because i am expecting 50 as the number so what i'm going to do is just for the sake of it i'm going to change this epoch to 500 so remember the lesser the loss the better is for me so loss is 1.27 i changed it to 500 running it again and you will see when it's running it it'll be really quick i'm just scrolling down so scrolling on the epochs run and you would see that loss came down to 0 0.02 and for predict let me run it again wow it's much better earlier it was 51.4 with 100 epochs epochs is number of iterations on the data here in this case it came down to 50.2 well i'm okay but it's again an error of 0.2 because i was supposed to get 50 now it is 50.2 let me change the number of epochs from 500 to 1000 let's run it so number of epoch the neural net learns as it goes through the iteration of data sets and 1000 epochs won't take much time i'm just going to scroll down at the very bottom thousand epochs epochs have been completed and you can see that the error is very 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 less let's run the print wow so i'm i'm happy the last the two decimal places 50.003 so error is very less you saw that how the number of epochs affected the performance of the model so i'll run it one more time i imported tensorflow numpy and tensorflow keras from tensorflow Keras is a set of APIs which are already available now in TensorFlow. I have X which is number of families, Y expenses on those families. I used one, so I initiated the model with only one neuron which is unit equal to one and input shape is one dimensional. Used optimizers, stochastic gradient descent and mean squared error. And this is a summary. So the model summary says this and then i'm gonna give it data the initialized model for one neuron x and y and number of epochs i changed it from 100 to 500 to 1000 and i saw that number of epochs has increased my predictability for nine families now this code is available on the google in the google drive link mentioned in the description section of the video below and if you want to take a look and run it for yourself Please feel free to do that. Thank you for watching.